Okay, we appear to have lost a picture. We're just testing at the moment. We can see we've lost a picture. We know we have no. We have a technical issue. Okay, we definitely have a technical issue. Are we live on? Are we live streaming? We I'm just checking to see whether anybody can hear us. I can bring, let's bring Maria in. I can what? see you now. I can see can myself. You, can you hear me, Maria? I can hear you. Okay, Hi. you are live. And Louise, can you hear me but not see me? Yeah, I can hear you but not see you. Hello, Maria. Welcome. Hello. Good morning. Thank you for having me today. You're okay. very welcome welcome we're just going to we're not too sure what's going on so i'm just going to go behind the scenes and see if i can sort oh i'm on a split screen we're going no we look like we've lost feed is what we look like we've done um right i think what we'll do is we'll leave it louise, we've got a freeze as well lou are you still there yeah i'm still here okay okay picture's cleared Okay, Louisa, can I let you lead with Maria? I'm sorry, Maria. I don't know what's happened technically. That's all right. <laughs> I do not know what happened technically, but I don't, I don't want to disappear. I think what maybe we'll do is we'll run with my voice um, without me at the moment. And uh, we're going to try and make a phone call behind the scenes in to our technical support and see if we can get that sorted. Um, so we'll run as though I'm here, okay? So we'll continue it as though I'm here. So welcome, Maria, um, from Dirty Old Dog. Dirty Old Dog. <laughs> a dirty Old Dog, a fledgling company um, that we are really, really looking forward to hearing lots about. I'm just going to mention very quickly that we are running a competition with you on Instagram. So if you're joining us with in from Instagram, um please uh or you don't know dirty old dog and you want to know a bit more about them please go and find them on instagram and join oh yeah okay, we're, we're losing sam are you losing me are you losing my voice got you again yeah okay well we'll stop fiddling with overlays is what we'll do i'm sorry i can see the live feed keeps changing um, i'm going to make a phone call to the technical department louisa can you leave for a moment is that okay Yes, so here we go. So Maria, hello, hi. Hello. <laughs> Basically, I think the message this morning is never work with children, animals, or new tech. Basically, yeah. that's the well, I'm technically challenged anyway, so <laughs> yeah, I find it quite difficult, so. We're all good, we're all good, we're fine. Anyway, as Sam was saying, we are running an Instagram mm -hmm. competition at the moment um, with you to win a fabulous dirty old dog wag bag and pillow. Hello! To do to be able to win that is to find and follow Dirty Old Dog and obviously Ticket Towers, comment on both and do all this by midday and then we'll be choosing a winner and that's to win a wag bag and pillow. So that's only until midday. So have a quick look on your phones on Instagram, find Dirty Old Dog and follow them, follow us and you'll be in with a chance of winning that fabulous wag bag. Maria, what's in the wag bag? Tell us what's in the wag bag. So in the wag bag, we have a, a towel. It's a microfiber velour towel, and it comes in red, blue, or pink. I think you've got a red one there. Um, then inside, there's also a um, posh wash dog shampoo bar, oh. and the shampoo bar saver, so you can put your soap in the little tin there we go that's there gorgeous go. i love that that's the perfect thing to have in your car well. okay. i love it. Um, can, I it can i win it can i win it <laughs> no <laughs> no family or friends oh. friends. okay but yeah so and then also in the wag bag in the starter pack we give you a complimentary um bag of grain free treats so there's either fishy or, or meaty treats, but that comes as complimentary with the wag bag. Fabulous. Well, that looks like a brilliant package to win there. So you need to follow us on Instagram and follow Dirty Old Dog. Go and look for them, find them, comment, and then you're in with a chance of winning that brilliant wag bag and also pillow as well. Now, Sam and I have been looking at this fabulous new company um, that Maria set up. Uh, there's two of you in the company, isn't there, Maria? Are oh, two dirty old dogs? Yes, there are. Dirty old dogs. <laughs> the other one is on lockdown, unfortunately. So, oh, yeah. dirty old dogs doing it by herself today. Perfect. Well, we are delighted to have just one dirty old dog. That's, That's right. probably all we can handle right now. 
Absolutely. One is more than enough. Exactly. So, Maria, tell me, you started this company, um, literally you've been going for a month, which is fabulous. So you're here right now after a month. So congratulations. Thank you. And this company might be called Dirty Old Dog, but the two of you have got luxury beauty experience. Oh, yes. So this we is going to be very luxury orientated. We come from a luxury background. So we're trying to bring a bit of luxury and couture to our doggies. I love that. Couture for canine. Oh, Perfect. Our pooch, our pooch couture collection. I love it. Will there be um, will there be two seasons a year, or will you just have oh, one? We're, we're looking to do at least two or three seasons a year, definitely. Great, I love it. I love it. So, tell me a little bit about um, what you're doing. I know there's um, obviously dirty old dog makes me think there's going to be cleaning products there. <laughs> Good food as well. Well, we've got little treats. We've got grain free treats. And we also have little snack bones that have got yucca extract in it. So it helps with the digestion of the dog. And also um, it's an anti-inflammatory yucca. So it's good for dogs that have a bit of digestive issues. They're not suitable for puppies, the snack bones, but they only for adult dogs. For the Great, that sounds really cool. And the, um, the fishy meaty treats, they're called nonna's fishy meaty treats. They tricks. are because we're Italian and we've got to incorporate our nonna to everything. You've got else. to love your nonna, exactly. Is this, is, this nonna. is this a recipe from nonna that you've um, worked into a dog Not recipe? Yet, something there? coming. Not yet, but it's coming. Okay. It's we'll, we'll, coming. <laughs> we'll wait for that one because we've also got... Um, and discount codes on some of the products online on your website as well. So it's buy three for nine pounds. So three bags of non fishy and meat. They're the non treats. There we go. They look They're three for nine pounds. Very nice. They're eighty percent meat. So they're you know a lot of the supermarket brands have very very low percentage of meat. These are eighty percent meat and they're grain really? free. So they're um, pretty good ones. What flavour are they? So we've got nonna's fishy treats or nonna's meaty treats. So okay. three, you can have three bags for nine pounds. Okay, and then I think the snack bones are on offer as well for three to 12, is that right? These are 300 gram bags, so they're quite big bags. And these are three for 12 pounds. But these are not suitable for puppies, whereas the nonna's mini treats, the grain treat free treats are suitable for dogs of all ages. Okay, great. Perfect. Well, it looks like there's some good gifts there for stocking, stocking fillers. Perfect. 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 <laughs> um, and then there's also, you've got knitwear on your site as well, is that right? Well, oh, we've knitwear. got some beautiful knitted um, blankets for our doggies or cats or anyone really. Um, but we also have got a, non a knitting nonna's club. So our nonna's, yeah. So nonna's like to knit? Yes, we meet up <laughs> once a month. Um, with the nonnas, but obviously due to COVID, we're a bit stuck at the moment. We can't really do much, but we're looking to um, organise once a month for people that are interested in knitting, just to meet up for coffee in a restaurant and have a chat, really, for all these knitting nonnas out there. Brilliant. So they, knit, they knit all our lovely um, doggy blanket, available in lots of different sizes. We've got round ones, square. Um, some have got little doggy motifs. Um, so there's lots of choice, and they've got 20% off today. Perfect. So they, all look, they all look quite unique to me as well. If you've got lots of nonnas knitting them, everyone. Oh, you, we've right. got those nonnas working hard for me. Oh, look. No. Oh, they're lovely. We've got some really beautiful blankets. It doesn't really do it justice on here, um, but these are fabulously made. So we've got really girly type things or, you know, blue. We've got something like this which is our cafe latte our cafe latte cafe latte again we're incorporating the uh, the italian in it as usual buona, buona. <laughs> yeah, yeah and we've also got a green white and red blanket because like any designer they have a set um a specific color they use every season and ours of course is green white and red I wonder why that might be. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. Maybe. It must be the Italian in us, but I might, I'm not sure. 
So we've got, um, we've had a comment um, from D uh, D Chris, I think it is, um, says that uh, they're already a fan of your uh, treats and they're going to be ordering some more soon. Oh, so, and I know we've got a lot of our audience and guests um, who um, have dogs as well as cats. We're not just about cats. We have, have a yeah. dog following that's growing all the time, uh, particularly our small dogs, the small dogs as well. So um, I'm sure they'll be checking you out a bit later on and having a little look on the site and using those codes. Oh, let's put it on. Oh, Froggy, one this. of our little jumpers. So this is our, our little, um, I can't see, can you see? So yeah. it's got a little bow and little diamante. So suitable for little dogs. And these oh, are all the Louisa, cats could wear that. Cats could wear that. Yeah, the cat could wear that, although good luck getting any of mine into that. <laughs> Christmassy um, cakes. We've got loads of little things. Little How very cheap! So these How are all really individual, cheap. handmade. They're only one of a kind, so you've got to get there quickly and get them because these, they're not doubles. So, so, that, so that really is canine couture then. If they're, they're one of a kind, it's a couture piece, made in your atelier, absolutely perfect. They are, are perfectly posh pooch couture. Exactly. So tell me, Maria, why did you start doing this in the first place? You've obviously got a luxury background. You obviously love dogs. I'm sure you have some yourself as well. Why, why did you start doing this? What made you want to do this at this point in time as well? Well, a lot of other people that have started a business, it's because they've lost their jobs, basically. So due to COVID, unfortunately, I was made redundant. And it was sad because it was, I've been with them for a long time and, you know, it, it, it was sad. But that's life. You've got to pick up and carry on. So myself and Claire, both having dogs, we thought, well, you know, let's um, look for something that's a bit more unique. And we came up with our dirty old dog, Posh Wash Shampoo Bar. Brilliant. I love that. Thank really, you. Really, really brilliant product. So that's, that's what started. It all started as a bit of a joke, really. But it's sort of developed, and um, but it is a really brilliant, brilliant product. Oh, I can't get there. Here we go. Yeah, that's great. That's perfect. There we go. I can see that. I think that's great because you've used your experience in um, obviously luxury beauty products and um, all the different things that that entails, with the ingredients and how to market yeah. them and how it should look. But also, you combine that with uh, one of your own personal loves, which is obviously yes. your dog. So you yes. know that you're, you're adding that extra kind of care and um, kind of need to do the very best for your dog as well in there. And Presentation as well of it, you know. We we try and we, we, we're holding on to our luxury background by the skin of our teeth. And we just want to keep it a bit more luxury. So, yeah, why shouldn't the dog have a bit of luxury? Exactly. They all should. Well, they, I mean, I have to say, I think the parallels between um, Tigger Towers and Dirty Old Dog are somewhat similar, aren't they, Sam? Because we, this is a luxury cat product. And yeah. the whole point was, um, at, at that point in time, from what I was doing, I still do work in luxury, but um, I was working with lots of luxury brands. You know, we didn't want things in our houses that were random crazy colors you know you don't just want the bog standard thing we wanted it to be beautiful we wanted it to be different we wanted it to be that little bit better than what everyone else had and put our own spin on it and make it that luxury product to have so i think dirty old dog sounds fabulous and i almost want to have a dog to, <laughs> to be able to use it so let me just recap on what you can do at the moment so you've still got 45 minutes to go onto instagram to try and win a wag pad and pillow, you need to follow Dirty Old Dog and Tigger Towers, obviously. Comment in the in the comments, and you could be in the chance of winning that wag bag and pillow. And then Maria has also done some exclusive discounts for her product. So we have buy three for nine pounds on Nona's fishy or meaty treats. Now those ones are suitable for puppies, all ages, dogs and all. So those are for all dogs. And then we have the snack bones, which we've also got buy three for twelve pounds on. Now those ones are just for adult dogs, no problem. They are for adult dogs, yeah. What are you calling that? Are you calling that nine and above, a year and above, or 
These are Nonna's snack bones. Nonna comes back into the picture again. It's got to be about Nonna here. You've got to have Nonna. Well, Nonna, Nonna's the one who gives snacks, isn't she? So. Nonna, yes, you're right. That's right. Nonna's got the snacks. <laughs> and then there's also 20% off the knitwear. We've just seen those beautiful blankets and also the canine couture. Well. We have the canine couture, little capes and all sorts of little things. Really pretty and beautifully made. Very Parisian, very Parisian looking, very chic. Well, I, think, I think you're going to need to organise a um, little model shoot next year so we can see well, the outfit. Exactly what we were thinking. Why not have a doggy fashion show? Absolutely. Oh. A dog walk. It doesn't have to be a cat walk. It can be a dog walk as well. I hope okay. Anne's not listening because she wants a cat walk and uh, she's always wanted a cat fashion walk. So we'll end up with a cat and a dog fashion walk at some point. Okay. I can see it coming. But, it, I mean, it's amazing. Maria, you should be really, really proud. I know you're only a month old, but you should be really proud of what you've achieved so far. I'm sure we will be working together again, um, hopefully in the near future, if, if you're a uh, game and we haven't uh, scared you off from all the technology. Oh, no, I think you're the ones that will be scared off. I don't think <laughs> Um, but um, listen, it, it's, it is tough times out there and um, you've come up with something that's very different, quite unique. Um, and as Louisa quite rightly said, it, it's you, you're sort of looking at that luxurious end and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. For many, many pet owners, often those pets are their children. They are their children. I know I haven't I haven't had children, so I've got my three main coons and they are they are my children. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not ashamed to say that they are my children, and uh, I, yeah, I, they, they go, they get when I can't have, don't they, Lou? I mean, I haven't had a haircut. I need a haircut desperately. I was having a really bad hair day. Cats were groomed and looking great and amazing, but they come first for, for, at, at the moment. So, um, so the soaps as well. I think the soaps um, with the palm oil free, that that is that, really- That was one of the main things that we wanted, that we didn't want in any of our products. Yeah. Um, was the palm oil. Yeah. Literally, um, the by the hour, 300 size, 300, the size of 300 football pitches are going to replace them to put these palm things to make to put palm oil in everything so that's yeah. every hour the space of 300 football pitches that's crazy that's a, that's 10 percent a... of all the products in supermarkets contain palm oil it's so mad. i think it will i think it will um i think it will definitely change it you're playing a part in that it might feel like a small part at the moment but it's a really important part and more and more um as uh we are all looking for environmentally friendly products, safer products. Yeah. Um, I mean, even if you look at the news at the moment with, with this, dare I say, the dreaded COVID word, vitamin D is flashing up everywhere at the moment. Um, that's a natural product. That's not that's not a vaccine. That is something natural that, that we can all go out and get and take and, and, and get data. You know, Mother Nature has put us on a naughty step this year. Yes. Um, we need to learn from it, I think. Yeah. It, it's just getting ridiculous now. So we've really? decided, I mean, our soaps are completely vegan as well. They're they? completely free. They yeah. have no palm oil, none of our products, even our treats, nothing has palm oil in it. There's no parabens in our soaps either. Um, and they're, they're handmade, you know, so, and, and also they're UK made. So again, we, we and keep everything. Sorry. Sorry, Maria, you also do um, human soaps as well, don't you? We do indeed. We've got our Christmas soap at the moment. This has got, you see, our, our doggy soap has no essential oils because a lot of dogs and cats have sensitive skin. Yeah. So it is completely natural. We've made it fragrance-free as well, um, our dog soap, because, again, dogs don't really want to smell of, of perfume and eucalyptus. I do, but not my dog. Yeah. <laughs> and... Um, Maria, it can actually, uh, I can tell you a funny story here, because if Lizanne was here, she'd be able to tell you, but she has dogs and uh, she has a cat, uh, Blaze, Maine Coon, and um, she's got a uh, teddy, the cockapoo, and a boxer. The boxer has huge allergy issues, so this soap would be brilliant for him, but teddy, the cockapoo, goes to the groomers because they have to with their coats, but when he comes back from the groomers, she's had to instruct the groomers not to use perfumed um, soaps, um, because um, basically when he comes back, the cat freaks out, 
absolutely freaks out. It's like having a new pet arrive because of the smells on him. So it's really interesting what you're saying about the soaps and the lack of the smells and the unnatural oils and things that are in them. Absolutely. And, and what I would say, any groomers, you know, this is a great option for your clients and you're, you're more likely to be above a cut above the rest by being able to offer an alternative to your customers. Because yeah. not everybody wants something out of a bottle that is been that, that smells of 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 rose and all you know some people want something that's vegan and it's great to offer yeah. that customer an option an alternative fantastic that's a great way to uh, right. Thank you. coming in as well um with people who said that it's they found it very very easy to wash their dog with a soap bar yeah. much easier than using other products um Okay. And we also have human soap, which they're recommending as well, saying that it's an absolutely beautiful smelling soap as this well. This is our soap. So this has got um, sweet orange and cinnamon essential oils. Ooh, it's lovely. Really lovely little Christmas. Sounds very Christmas. Filler. Great. And they're all obviously different because they're handmade. So yeah. they all come up slightly different. I think I could, I could be shopping later, Lou. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's very dangerous. Maria, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, we hope you've enjoyed it. It's your first live as well, I know. But thank you very much for joining us. And um, we put, put you to the test. Um, we will have you back on definitely if you'll come and join us in the future and get an update from you see what's coming next. Um, but for those of you that don't know, this was Maria from Dirty Old Dog. And uh, go and find her on Instagram. And uh, that competition, as Louisa said, I think you've got just under 40 minutes left to go and join. So we're going to say thank you, Maria. And thank we're going you to so much, Thank, thank you. you. Very nice to meet you. Bye. 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 Wow. What a fabulous new brand. Born out of necessity, but an absolutely beautiful, beautiful brand. I really think I need to get a dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, yeah, there's one on my Christmas list, but there has been one for a while. Can we get a dog? No, no. Um, <laughs> right, okay, so now we've got our technical issues solved. I'm just going to check in with the chat. We'll keep up, keep your comments because Lou and I are now going to uh, talk a little bit about Burgess cat food and then we're going to overview all our lovely guests from yesterday. They're not joining us live today. Um, but um, they, um, we're going to overview their products, remind you of some of their discount codes. I'm hoping if we can check, get the overlays right on their discount codes and, and just, just generally do a bit of a catch up for the next 15 minutes. We're running a little bit behind. I do apologize. Um, but uh, hopefully you're going to stay tuned with us. If you've got any questions on any of our guests we featured yesterday or um, Maria at Dirty Old Dog, please ask us in the chat and we'll answer those questions the best we can. Um, there's been some lovely brands, haven't there, Lou? Yeah, there have. Some really, really good. So things to eat, things to play with, and um, really, really nice things to give as Christmas presents with Christmas only six weeks away, which is very scary. But let's have a look at Burgess Pet Care now. Um, some of you may know this. It's a, a British firm, um, still family owned after um, an awful long time. They are, I think it's from the 1800s, is that right? They were That's right, yes, no, 1800s. Just get, get my notes out. We don't have they, started, they started off with um, animal feed, so big animal feeds, grains, um, and working with a natural product as you did in the 1800s. Um, and they've brought that through right till now. The products they create now, cats and dogs, are all natural, grain-free um, as much as possible. And um, looking at all the various nutrition you need, they've got high meat content. And they've also just brought out, which I think Sam's just holding up there, is their new Muted Cat Food. Now, Muted Cat Food, you may think, why do I feed different? Um, Neuter cats often have urinary tract infections. That can be one of the issues they suffer with. And um, by using a food like this, it has um, ingredients in there to help stop that happening. Um, I think Burgess are um, prolific in doing this with all their dog food as well. All the different things that they put out there are are all about the health and the well-being of dogs and cats as well. 
and we have some great offers with them as well. So if you use the code TIGGER20, you get 20% off cat food and then also 20% off Paul O'Grady's No Nasty Dog Food. So they've been working with Paul O'Grady as well. Um, Paul O'Grady known for his work with lots of charities, particularly Bastie, um, and Burgess Pet Care do that as well. They also work with um, the cat and dog charities, various different ones. They put that care back as well. They are a family firm and they like to make sure that they are working with, with everybody. They're concerned about the whole of the dog. It's not just about what they eat. So are your cats eating this at the moment, Sam? Uh, I've been using it as treats. I've only just received a bag uh, because the uh, neuter is a new, the neutered is a new food. So they've only just launched the neutered um, and it's a complete diet. Um, so I've just started using it as a treat because as you rightly said earlier, you shouldn't change um, pets over um, food wise too quickly because obviously it can cause a lot of uh, gastro issues. And it, that doesn't matter what the quality of the food is like. That, that can happen with any animal at any age. Um, any any breed doesn't have to be a pedigree does it Lou so um it's always but they, they are enjoying they are definitely enjoying I'm just going to see if the chat feed could come up because I haven't got the chat feed at the moment um uh, the top tip from Burgess is to gradually mix that food in over seven to ten days to really give them a chance to let their digestive systems get used to a different kind of food I know it sounds silly we eat one thing and we eat another our digestive systems are much more advanced than the cats and dogs. They, you do need to be careful. The last thing you want is an upset stomach or to put your cat or dog off eating it altogether. So, and I'm just having a look here. Oh, this is the chicken with duck, okay, which is the adult complete. Um, and one of the other things about um, them is their packaging is very upfront. So they put everything on their package. They have full, they have what they call full disclosure on their content and apparently that is rare some of your foods do not give you a full disclosure but they do so i wasn't aware of that i don't know how many uh customers and pet consumers are um i'm just checking uh the chat as well um i've seen that top tip there is there another one come through um so you've just spoken about that top tip haven't you Lou, about mixing yeah, in the food? I, have. I, think, I think in my experience as well that's definitely one to look at i know i've even within different, um, oh, sorry, the same brand, if you're going for um, one type of food in one brand and then they have another type that you want to move to, for example, if you're using one of Burgess's um, uh, non neutered cat foods, if you're going to introduce that neutered cat food, even though if it's the same brand, you still do need to do it gradually. Yeah. Um, also, it could be something you mix together. You know, you can mix them a little bit. Um, but having that complete cat food in one go is, is also great. I mean, having it as dry food means you haven't got meat hanging around the house, um, going off and then sort of coming back to it, turning their nose up a little bit later. That's the one thing I don't like with wet cat food is the fact that they never eat it all in one go. Biscuits are so much easier. <laughs> yeah, and I think, yeah, it, it is. I mean, and again, that's personal pre preference, isn't it? Because we do, we do get a mix. And, and I think there's a place in the market because there is a raw section now that is growing as well. So um, I think personally, I've always used dry. I have done some raw, but I, I use dry um, for the same reasons as you. And, and the foods I use are always very high meat content. And for me, no additives because I have a cat that has got allergies. Yeah. Um, We're getting comments in as well. So Carol, um, Carol Morrison Jackson, thank you. She's saying, yes, it is very, very rare. Um, she was told by her vet uh, to watch the, her boy's diet. I'm assuming that's a cat. Um, oh, really? That's, that's interesting. One. Yeah. So she's yeah. saying that, sorry, Lou, I'm, I'm talking over you as usual. Smack. All right. That would be a kick from you, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, so she said that um, basically unless food is labelled hypoallergenic, they don't have to declare the full list of ingredients. That That's actually quite, yeah, I didn't know that. Did you? No, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. But, you know, it's, it's something I think we're all paying more attention to what we eat now. Um, and I think we're, we need to make sure we have that attention to our animals food as well. Um, okay. You know, definitely. But I think, you know, the neutered food, as we said, is the latest food that they brought out on the market. Very high in protein, digestible and helps maintain lean muscle mass as well, which is great, especially if they're an indoor cat as well as being neutered, which um, a lot of the time cats are now.
Yeah. So I've just seen a note on the comment coming up um, that um, obviously um, we've discussed the need to food and what it's high in with the protein and everything. But I've seen a note that uh, delivery, if you're taking it up on the offer uh, with the code TIGA20, if you're taking up that offer, which is valid this weekend, um, delivery is taking a little bit longer uh, for the usual reasons. There's just a lot of stress on all the delivery companies at the moment um, with everything that's going on. So um, please just be a little bit patient. Um, I think it's the same for every small company. We've got exactly the same this end with our shipments. Everything that we say is on happening on a date seems to be running a few days or a week behind. Um, so just bear with companies like Burgess and ourselves. Um, it's coming. It just sometimes if you place an order, it's not happening in 24, 40 hours like it used to. Um, we, we're not Amazon. So and, and Burgess isn't Amazon. So we're, we're all doing our best. So just bear with us from a delivery point of view and keep in contact if you're worried about a delivery and, and things like that. But amazing brand. Um, I've just had a time check here that we've taken half an hour just to do the two brands. OK, um, let's move on then. Let's talk about um, cat collection. Uh, yeah, we can talk about cat collection and then uh, and then we'll we'll finish with um, Gus and Bella. How does that sound? Yeah, we'll do that, yes, because otherwise I'm going to get attacked when I open the box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that's fair enough. So uh, cat collection, here we go. So cat collection um, was with us yesterday, the lovely Judith, talking about her amazingly um, create hand-painted mugs. So they're bone china mugs that she hand-paints. There are a lot of designs that she has on the website already. Um, it started by her doing watercolour um, paintings, uh, and then she had a very boring mug, and she thought, well, I could put together. And there we go. We have our beautiful mug there. You can see Sam there. There's one that she did exclusively for Tigger Towers there, so that shows a little bespoke. And then I think the other one Sam's got is Sam's off on his tower. So I've also had some bespoke ones done by Judith and they are absolutely gorgeous. She does it via photos. So you can just email her over some photographs. It could be a cat, a dog, a rabbit, a horse, a brilliant Christmas present. And this weekend, anyone spending over £20 on China will receive a free glass printed poster. It's a fabulous deal. £20 for a mug and a poster. And the mug is obviously bespoke to exactly what you would like. You can have your own message on there. Um, and I really do vouch for the quality and you know the wittiness of the way that she translates your photograph into a caricature of your pet is absolutely beautiful. She also signs them all, dates them all, and inside there's a little paw print as well. So you know that each is one of her original designs and not um, a copy. So that's a very, very special present. So if you look at Cat Collection, which is about K-A-T, and the discount code is Coast Free, for anyone spending over £20 on the China, you'll also receive a glass printed coaster for free. That, that one's about six years old. So that was a limited. But she does, she does plates, she does egg cups, she does trays. Um, I'm just going to grab the chat to make sure there's nothing coming in in the chat. Pete's trying to do about four jobs at once at the moment. So... Um, yeah, there's a wide variety of products that she does on the site. So take yeah. a look, have a look. There's some really, really beautiful things on that site. You you get lost in it. It's like a rabbit hole. You get lost down that site. Bespoking, um, she basically uh, needs uh, photos of your animal. So if you want your own animal and an impression of your own animal on there, um, Bespoke is she'll ask you for some photos. And it adds, I think, around £10 onto an item to bespoke it, because obviously then it's hand painted in her own time. It's not one of her templates um, from that point of view. And um, she can do that for Christmas. She's still not shut off her deliveries for Christmas. And she can do that not just on mugs, she can do it on other things as well. So we, we always talk about the mugs, but as you saw from Judith's display yesterday, there's just loads of other items, um, loads and loads of ideas. So that's the lovely Judith at the Cat Collection. And I'm hoping she might be watching today. Uh, but do go and check her out. Um, on Facebook is where she is. Um, so that's where her, she is on Instagram as well, but her bigger following is on Facebook. So do go and check out Judith Cat Collection and uh, see what she does. And if you've got any questions, just bar away. But as Lou said, don't forget the code. So yeah. our final guest uh, yesterday, our first guest yesterday is our final guest today. And I've been so I think this is this was Louisa. Oh, I, I think I don't know if it's Louise, but it was the cat's favourite uh, 
The cat's the favourite, yes. So I am showing you. This is a this is a sneak preview um, because usually Gus and Bella don't tell you what's going to be in their boxes. You just receive this fabulous package, and it's it's an absolute um, reveal every time you open the box. You don't know what's happening. But this is what you would get if you ordered um, Santa yeah. Claus. So Christmas, if December was your first box, this is Santa Claus. And in this box, I'm going to do the adult the, the adult things, the human things first, um, because otherwise, uh, yeah, Hamish has already woken up. <laughs> so one of the things is this lovely Simon's cat tea towel, which is going to be perfect on Christmas Day. There's usually four things for... for um, humans and about sort of five six things for cats it's usually 10 to 12 in each product in each um box got some lovely cozy slippers the idea being that when you have this box it's not just for the cat it's also for you as well and it's a bit interactive it's where you can be sitting relaxing and then you can be playing with the cat or the cat can have some treats so it's something for both of you to, to share together this lovely christmas I got, I got, I'm just showing different bits on my screen so people get a little bit of a close up on the different bits. Um, and then we have oh, this absolutely gorgeous Sasson Bell cat Christmas tree decoration, which Sam was first to put on. That you can, my table's moving because the cats are jumping down on me. Okay, so there we go. So it's lovely bauble there. And then we have the cat thing. Okay, right, what do you want? We've got a toy. So this is a gingerbread man on a toy, yeah, there, which has got, I think it's got catnip in it as well. And then we have a catnip square. This one's a reindeer. Now this one caused them to go crazy yesterday. <laughs> Let's get the same again. Have you fed them this time, Lou? I have actually fed them because they were a little bit crazy yesterday. Oh, oh, look, as you can see, Jasper absolutely loves that. Emily tries to work with um, small um, UK brands, doesn't she, that are not on yeah, the no. street. So um, she, she basically links up and is working with brands that basically are not on the high street, that are not, you're not going to find them everywhere you go, uh, which I think actually was really important. Um, quite, they're quite unique and it would obviously take you a long time to find all these things, but it's great that Emily's done that for us already. There's food in there as well. So Weebix tasty snack treats, turkey and cranberry. We have a wee bit festive mousse. So there's their Christmas dinner sorted. And then what went down very well yesterday were the wee box licky licks. This is a lovely uh, big box of um, treats as well, isn't it? Have you got that one? That? So this is the wee box licky licks. And as you can see, you don't want it. Really? It's got the Jasper seal of approval. We're liking that a lot. So we're showing different things on different screens just so you guys get closer because we've changed our camera angle today. So I'm hoping... Uh... This is the Harrington's that you're showing now. Now, this is a 425-gram um, box. So it's one of their actual kind of sizes that they sell in the shops as well. So you're not just getting tiny trial packet sizes. You actually get to give it a good go. And I would use these um, probably as a treat. Um, as you were saying earlier with Burgess, you started using it as a treat before you move on. Something like this in a box just to complement what you're doing anyway. I, I would use these as treats as well. So Gus and Bella boxes. And at the moment for this weekend, you can get 25% off your first monthly or three monthly subscription box with the code GBXmas25. Or if you wanted to buy a one-off box, maybe for yourself to try or as a gift for someone else, it's GBXmas10, which gives you 10% off a one-off gift box. So I think when we were talking to Emily yesterday, she said the most economical way of doing this, and if you want to get the best bargain, it would be to do a three-month subscription box and you get the 25% off on there. So I would thoroughly recommend this. My cats are now delighted that they can play with everything and I'm not going to pack it away in the box because they were a little bit upset with me when I packed it away. Oh, oh, they weren't, they weren't happy with you. I packed it away, but now you can have it. Quite so, um, Lou, we, we've had great fun, haven't we, with the guests and um, and uh, talking about the brands. And uh, one of the, I think one of the lessons we've learned from this weekend is that um, if we come back, and if, if you want us to come back and do this again, 
Um, we'll ask everybody later. Um, but um, if we come back and do this again, which I think we will be, and we do have some guests and we work with some guests, which would be lovely to do again. We try and allow a bit more structured time for those guests. Um, I think we're trying to cram a lot into shorter sessions and uh, we, we've overrun. So we do apologize for overrunning. I think we've overrun about 10, 10 minutes here. So, um, um, so yes, we will make sure we do that. And I can just see a comments just come in that we haven't mentioned, which is you can personalize those boxes. So yes. that if you have a cat or a kitten, uh, allergies or food or treats need to change, then you can do that. And actually that's a really important point because that, that set her apart, didn't it, from any other businesses. Yeah. Literally, uh, when, you, when you place your order, there will be um, boxes of tickets to regular box or kitten box, or do you have any allergies that we need to know about so they can tailor your box. So, yeah, really, really brilliant. And again, she's a young business. She's been going for 18 months. Um, started this from her love of cats just by getting two kittens and deciding that she couldn't find things that was taking too long, wanting to find things to keep them busy and enrich being in the house with their house cats. Um, and generally find something that was fun for the cats and for her as well. So I know the box they've got at the moment, the November box, um, if you ordered a box now or started your subscription, you would get the November box. If you take a look at Instagram, you can see people have been unboxing. So it's not just Christmas that's fantastic. The November box is brilliant. It's got a full-size um, pet blanket in there, and it's also got a, a really, really beautiful book. Um, about cat's behaviour, which um, looks really, really interesting. And I think I might just have to go and order one. So I should be using my 25% off discount. She's off. Damn, I was going to use that as a Christmas present for you. <laughs> ah, well, not for you, for the cats. Okay. <laughs> So um, amazing, amazing guests. And uh, before we leave you for our lunch break and uh, resetting the scene, because I've got my on my own session to do again. Oh, my goodness me. I tried to think about it this morning. Um, but I'm going to be back on my own uh, with our uh, towers. Um, so please do come back and join me at 1.30 for the towers. Um, and then we've got an amazing roundup session as well. So we've got the towers and all the tower offers. They're on our website, tower parts, all the towers, all on offer. Don't even need a code today. So we've made it really easy for you because we've been managing stock and we've been so busy. You can just go on the website and find your discounts on tickertowers.com. So don't forget us. Don't forget that if you're looking for some shopping. Um, but we have got some competitions we're going to run. And the first one we're going to start now because we're going to send you all off to have a little look around. And you're hunting, I'm trying to remember what you're hunting for. I think it's stars. Yeah, you're hunting for gold stars. stars right? You're hunting for stars on our website. So somewhere on our website, there are stars. Okay, there's not one. I'm not telling you how many there are, but you've got to come back. You can't post now. You've got to come back and join me for my tower session at half past one. And the first person to tell me where they are on our site and how many they found and who is correct will win a tigger bed a tigger bed and depending on whether it's a cat or dog winner we will tailor that bed to suit the pet because obviously some of our dogs like bigger beds so we are not going to say what bed it's going to be because we're flexible <laughs> might win one of our big memory foam pillows okay so it's a big prize so it's hunt for the stars on the website at tiggertowers.com so how many stars can you find on our website and where are they? Where are they? So happy hunting over the next hour and a half. Lou's going to go off and have a look, I'm sure. And we've got more competitions in our wrap-up session, haven't we, Lou? And we more competitions and a very, very special guest. That. I'm not, I, I was going to try and announce his title, but I've actually got to have it in front of me to give you... I've the got it. I've got it. Do we still it? So we are going to have the wonderful um, Willie the Maine Coon, Willie to his friends, but he is Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Supreme Grand Champion, Kemi Coon, CO USA Prize Willie, and he will be joining us later this afternoon. You missed the title. I knew you were going to miss the title because only a breeder would know the other title. Yeah. <laughs> He's also an outstanding sire. Um, which um, is actually, I think, quite a recent title. So he is quite simply, um, I okay. don't know, there would be many people that dispute, dispute it. He is one of the best Maine Coons in the world. Simple. 
He's all the way from America and we will be meeting him and his lovely owner and breeder, the lovely Liz Hansen or Dr. Liz Hansen um, this afternoon. And that is at half past two and we will have Lizanne back and Lucy. It'll be a bit busy and there'll be another competition as well. So yeah. enjoy the rest of the morning stroke lunchtime. Lou, you know, I'm going to say, Rachel's saying we aren't getting stars on products. No, Rachel, not stars on products. Oh, no, no, that's a really, 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 really valid point. Okay, no, there are no stars on products. It is a symbol. It is a symbol. Okay, it's a star symbol. Not, not your little mini asterisk star. Okay, it is a star symbol hidden on the website. It's more than one. We need to know how many you found and where you found them. That is what's going to happen. And it will be the first comment that goes live and that you cannot put that comment on before we go live with my tower section, before I'm there on my own. So we're going to expect you all coming back, okay, to join us. All right. Hey, Rachel. We're all get, get looking. Come on, sir. As we're catching the stars on our beds. Oh, my goodness me. We're going to catch everybody busy. <laughs> No, we're not that mean. We're not that mean. No, we're not that mean. We haven't made it that complicated. We haven't made it. Why are you there? Do you have any Christmas shopping while you're on our site? Okay. And if something sold out, if something's sold out, don't panic. Just drop us an email. If we've got it in stock or we've got stock coming back in, we'll let you know and we'll honor discounts from this weekend. Okay. Lou, you can go and have a nice roast dinner lunch. Uh, no, I'm going to have brunch actually, and then I will have roast dinner tonight. <laughs> All right. We'll catch you a bit later, Lou. All right, see you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.